Happy February and March. But this is the February friendship update. Yay! It's a short month, but I got a lot done. Uh, so we're going to start with uh, this little test February thing, which is cool. And you can see build a barracks and town builder. So I added this literally yesterday. It's a uh, it tells you what you do next. Um, so I'm going to build a barracks and the town builder. Yeah, I'm going to skip all that. I'm going to build it here. Sure. Yep, yep, sure. And now, as you can see, it updated. Uh, so I'm going to collect this trash pile. And I'm going to build. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm going to build. And I'm going to, sure, build. Yes, and uh, I forgot to update this. Upgrade the castle with ore. That's cool. I'm speedrunning this tutorial. Awesome. Okay, cool. Yes. So, wait. Oh. Ah, okay. It updated now. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, so if you're like me, and, uh, well, if you're not like me, because I actually read the stuff. If you don't like reading stuff, and you like to clicker things too fast, and you're like, oh, what do I do now? Well, this annoying thing is going to be there. Don't worry, it goes away once you're caught up with the story. So, let's do the. Uh, next thing I need to buy a school for progress and then this is the big one yeah, yeah, yeah this is the big one the ambassador I'm gonna go ahead and buy it because of ambassador reasons and then of course we need to build it let's uh let's build the very wait what why is this bug still here okay you know what ignore that what the heck okay okay build the school <laughs> Man, I, I tested this stuff, and no problems, and now it did a duplicate. That's awesome. Thanks, game. Cool. So, yes, we built the school, and I added some di some more dialogue. Uh, of course, it picks a character that doesn't have updated dialogue. That's cool. Thanks. Thanks for making this look good. I, uh, However, I did update all the skill poses. So, uh, there's no more T-posing for skills, unless it's intentional. Yeah, here's an updated line. Thank you, Miss Nara Kikeru. She has a personality with an updated line. I have about, uh, I'm about halfway done with all the personalities. Or, so that's one that's not updated. Thanks. Thanks, game. Placeholder. Cool. And find adoption quest. Man, this is great. Okay, so we place the ambassador. Uh, do I have anything else? I guess that's it. And when we click into the ambassador, I actually have this joined on a guild. So we are going to... Uh, I can demo this as an officer. So this character, I... Um, joined as an officer, or joined as a regular, and then for testing, bumped it up to an officer. So as an officer, you can like edit the recruit message, I'm not going to do that. If you're a guild leader, you can change the, the logo, and of course the member icon. As an officer, you can kick members. If you're a guild leader, you can promote and demote. <laughs> see the big thing about <clears throat> ambassador or the guilds is you donate you donate your extra junk so uh, throughout the course of the game you're gonna get a lot of food and food has a, a trade-in value of one so if you donate one I'm going to donate one for one guild experience yay <laughs> it increased by one but you need it to, well, for a level 4 guild to upgrade it to level 5, you need like 2 million XP. So this is a group effort. When you make a guild by yourself, it's going to be level 1, and that determines how many total members there are, directly correlated with the level. So, you're by yourself, and you need to, you need to donate to get to level 2, and that's not that much work but it does take a bit of investment 
when you have someone, uh, everyone can donate to the guild. So the more people you get in the guild, the more donations of junk you should have coming in. And so hopefully this number is good enough, uh, and eventually goes up to level 50, which is a massive guild. The next thing is the this guild boss. I thought I set this up. I did not set this up. So, guild boss has its own setup or its own team, and the cool thing about it is that the guild boss isn't hard at all. It's basically just a thing. Oops, I want you over. It's basically just a thing to show off and flex how powerful you are. I want to make sure I get these skill bonuses. Alright, so... Uh, this isn't the best team, but... It's the strongest one this account has. And before you actually attack... Because uh, you only get... One... Actual attack... Attempt... On the boss per... Per week. And it, res re it resets every week. And when it resets... It rewards everyone who's contributed with guild credits and uh, that'll be some future functionality of uh, guild members can use credits to buy special things and uh, when I set this up I used this broken doll and I found out that there was actually a bug with one of the animations uh, which I got fixed uh, like it thought there was an ear <laughs> But, as you can see, a broken doll has no ear. So I was like, oh, okay, I'm, I'm just going to crash. So yes, we are doing a practice run. Awesome. As we do, I will talk through some of this other stuff. If you look down here in the bottom right, uh, there's music. And I'm also uh, playing some music on this video and see below for the credits. I'm going to buy the extended license. Uh, for all these music tracks, but for now they are royalty free and all they need is uh, proper accreditation in the credits, which I've done. So, for now, it's, uh, uh, what's the name of the license? Creative Commons 4.0, and so it's legally usable within this game, which is awesome. I highly recommend checking out filmmusic.io. That's site that I came across and has an awful lot of music. It's great. I was able to fill out all the tracks I need for uh, every screen in the game. I forget how many tracks that is. It's like 14 or something. It's a lot. Anyway, yes. So, <clears throat> uh, I added the music and it's tied to the set vol volume in the settings. See, I talked through the. Uh, oh, okay, so with the Ambassador, the weekly script, it resets every Friday. I may change it to Saturday. Okay, practice. I did the practice attempt. It didn't record it because, you know, practice. So you can uh, modify your team to see how well it's going to do. So now I'm actually going to use an attempt. As I do, I'll talk through this other stuff. Okay, so the weekly script. Every Friday, I may change it to Saturday. If the guild boss hit points is less than one, so basically, if the guild boss is defeated, then everyone who has participated and that is still within the guild gets rewarded with bags of money and crystals determined by the total guild level. And, of course, the, uh, the higher the guild level, the more hit points the boss is going to have. <clears throat> so, and that is calculated by... Uh, what's this calculation? So, every guild member's strongest character, uh, and then everyone who participated... Okay, it takes the strongest... It takes the strongest character of everyone who participated, and then it does a times 25 multiplier. And that's just an initial calculation, uh, and I may adjust it depending on how people in guilds do. If they're not, 
if they're doing solid attempts and not defeating the boss, then obviously I'm going to change it. <clears throat> but yeah, this is a first try attempt calculation. Uh, I got this work in, what was it, two weeks? Uh, one week ago, and then the script ran uh, this Friday, and it properly reset. So, yes, yes, yes. Okay. I also reduced the cost of the ambassador to a base value of 3000 so it's actually affordable. That's kind of important. Let's see, completed all the skill poses, I already said that. I added the to-do list. Okay, the to-do list follows story progress and says what the ne next objective should be. Added some dialogue, a lot to do. And then, uh, uh, there's a... Ah, oh, that sucks. Okay, so my attempt was less than my practice, because yay RMG. So the guild boss HP was reduced, and hey, look at that. It shows that there was one attempt, one actual attempt. And this, okay, this should update. You know what? It didn't update. Okay, if I go back into it, it'll update. Because it has to, it stores it on the server. There we go, it's updated now. So, ta-da. It, I assume the math is right. <laughs> okay, here's two placeholder things, guild versus guild. This is kind of hard to develop because there's no, well, there's, what, like two guilds made right now? And then same with the guild officer store. So, a guild leader and a guild officer will have a special store just for them, which cannot be accessed by members. What I'm going to put in here, I don't know, but I think it's kind of cool for like, it's going to be like management stuff, I don't know, maybe maybe I'll implement guild buffs that can, once purchased, like increases numbers, because that's what this game is about, it's about increasing numbers. Okay, cool. So. We did our attempt, and what we're going to do is we're going to leave the guild, because why not? So, the cool thing is, as a new player, when you come in here, it's going to say join guild or create guild. So, if you want to join one, you can enter a name to search. If you just leave it blank, search. Let's see what we got. We got, oh, we got a third guild. Dude, Cat's Palace. Okay, cool. Who's this? Man, I want to see who this is. Uh, oh, Strawberry Tavi. Okay, okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. So when you join a guild, you start off as a member. And uh, yes, so donate zero to... Okay, cool. Guild boss defeated. Okay, so when you make a new guild, it starts off with the boss defeated. So, uh, free bonus, whatever. <laughs> There's nothing to really calculate because you know what? It's brand new. The boss HP is going to be zero. Guild versus guild zero. And since I'm a member, I cannot see this. Awesome. And can't even edit anything. Yay. Yeah. Alright, let me demo this actual search though. So, if you have the name, you can search for cats. Watch it not work. No, there it goes. It works. Awesome. Cats. Everybody. So since I left the guild, I want to rejoin it. <clears throat> yep, I joined. I was an officer, but since I rejoined, I'm, I got demoted to a member because, yeah. The cool thing is, though, even though I left, it still records the attempt I did. And so people can join, they can do an attempt which reduces the HP. But, again, if they leave, they're not going to get the reward. So they have to stay in the guild in order to get the reward. Yes. Alright. Now we need to actually... Oh, wait. We need to create a guild. Okay. I'm going to leave again. <laughs> it's not going to be four guilds. And this one is going to rot. Oh, wait. Hold up. I don't have enough... Let me buy... I can't buy. Oh, pain. Please tell me I have... Okay, crystals. Yes, yes. Okay, 34. Is that enough? Alright, yay, 1013. 
Okay, we are going to create a guild, and it costs 1,000 crystals. This is going to be called uh, video. You know what? Let's call it video demos. Yay. Let's not do yay. Okay, video demos. Create. So it's created and it automatically puts me as the guild leader. As a guild leader, I can change an icon. I did a little placeholder one and then I drew this one up really quick. I'm gonna redo it. The main thing is I have the functionality in here. And then, yay. Our message is this is for video demos only. Yay. Then we're going to save. And it says we saved. Awesome. I'm the only member, here we can donate, and yeah, the donate, is, it costs like 100000 That's okay, if you're brand new, well, you're gonna be stuck with low level stuff, that's fine. Start off with boss defeated, cool, uh, yes, yes, alright, that's it for that. Let's see, then we have the chase. Do we have a chase? We do not have a chase. Why don't we have a chase? I need a chase. Here we go. Let's. Uncontrollable monster. Okay. So, on my main account, I made it to the hardest difficulty of chase, or the capture, and it was really hard. <laughs> so, I changed it uh, to be easier and. Um, if you build a fencer or build a build a sky nature character properly with agility and hit points, then they can actually play through this for you. And that's the point of these mini games: is if you build right, then uh, yeah, then you can sit back and watch, and it becomes easy. But if you didn't, it's going to be hard. Okay, yes. Uh, I think I demoed these last time, so I'll skip through it. So my stamina goes up super fast several times because, yes, several resets. And she has enough HP. Is this a fencer? I think so. And yes, watch. She's going to jump. Yay! Automatically! I didn't even push the jump button. However, it takes a lot of stamina to do that. If you do a normal jump, it takes a little bit. And also, uh, let me not show it, but when she starts getting over here, you can see like if it reduces her life. Yeah, see, she lost one hit point. Yay. Of course, this is the lowest difficulty. And, uh, I slowed down the speed when the monster is on screen, since the character is <laughs> she's just skating over. So she's just sliding over. Um, on higher difficulties, as these logs just spin through or fly through the screen, like the reaction time is insane. I mean, I can't do it. So I cut down the scrolling speed in half, and that made it doable. Man, I got my love rewards with all this stuff. Nice. Yes. Okay. Um, let's see, the auto jump and the recover. And uh, yes, I think we're done with that. Cool. So, let me show the credits. The credits, here's all the music with the license, the link, the name of each one, and the link to each song. And uh, here is it. all the music in the game. So, all the music done. Yes. Awesome. Um, I don't need to pay for it, but I'm going to pay for it and support this person. Uh, Sasha and Andy. Um, German, who is cool and has good music. Once I pay for it, he's like, eh, you can remove the credits. I'm not going to remove the credits. You deserve, like, you deserve this attention. Okay, cool. So. go to here I'm going to oh the, uh, the mouse moving automatically I doubled the speed of that so it's going to I move the mouse it's 
It's gonna go super fast. There we go. Just immediately. Well, not immediately. <laughs> super fast. Before it was going like, eh, which was kind of annoying. Oh, I got rewards. Oh yeah, yeah, the tower is reset. Awesome. Yes. Bunch of rewards. Awesome. So on my main team, uh, you know what? Let's do this. While I'm here. I'm going to go ahead and buy some money. Yes, you heard that right. I'm going to buy some money. And then I'm going to open all the money to get more money. That's a video game trick of, hey, you should go to the store and buy something every day because it's free or whatever. Okay, here's, <laughs> here's my main team. I've been working on, uh, as you can see, I've been working on leveling everyone up. Uh, yeah, just gonna go ahead and level up. See how high we can get today. Like, so this is end game. Leveling up, it's it's gonna take a process. It's gonna take several days. It's supposed to. This is the end game quote grind. It's not that bad though, because as everyone gets stronger, the game gets easier. And I'm out of money. Awesome. So everyone got leveled up a little bit more. Um, by the end of March, this character and this character should be 200. These two should be on their way. Um, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm still trying to figure out the pacing for Endgame. Yes. Okay. So, uh, I showed this, the um, members. So as a guild leader, you have a member, you can promote. Cool, user rank is now an officer. Then they are demoted down to a member. And then, you know what? I'm going to get rid of them. Cool. They are removed. Ta-da. I have... Man, okay. So, <laughs> they were removed. I just need to update this text. <clears throat> I like how I don't notice this stuff until I actually demo it. There we go, see, one out of four. Here's a guild leader, the alphas. Awesome, because we are alpha testing. Yes. Is that all? Oh! I went to the shop and I didn't even show it. So, the ore was previously all scattered out, so I consolidated it into piles. So, easier to buy. I can afford nothing. And it's gonna cost, like, a lot. That's like a lot. I do not have 1.4 million to buy seven pieces of ore. So the ore is actually the most valuable to donate. Let's keep that in mind. It's very uh, worth, very much worth your time to spend doing mining quests. I suggest doing that instead of buying. But if you're bad at <laughs> bad at the, that mini game, you can buy it. Is that all? I think that is all. Awesome. So this is February, and yeah, everything's nice. That's nice. Because nice. nice. end of the month, already did an attempt. Cool. All right. Thanks for watching. If you like this game, then you can download it for free. There's links and stuff. Also, please join the Discord, and you can see updates. You can also do any game suggestions. 